Pearl Tutorial Part 21 Creating Random Numbers and Rounding Numbers so Let's um, begin I'll show you how to create a random number So we've got a new variable which is going to be a random number and we use the function rand and then we're going to pick a random number between 0 and 100 that's how that works. If we made that 10, it would pick a random number between 0 and 10. Okay, so we can print out our random number. Let's uh, run this. Okay, so we've got a random number between 0 and 100 and it can have quite a few decimal places on it. Okay, so let's just run this a few times and see what we get. 13, 42, etc. 61, etc. Now, um, I want to do the same thing again, but just make a slight change. Now, We've seen the int function once before in an earlier tutorial. Now, let's um, we can make our random number an integer, and I'm just going to pick a number between zero and four. So that's five options: zero, one, two, three, and four. Now, um, this time when we generate our random number, it will become an integer. So let's run this see what comes up we get 3 we get 0 we get 2 we get 1 let's try something out here on an array of items array equals quote bunch of items being a hat a mat say a cat a bat so a rat okay so we can print out a random item from our array using our random number that we've used the int function on and we've learned how we can print out items pick an item to print out from our array so let's let's print out array item random okay so because I picked the number four which gives us five options so this is item zero one two three and four so now print array random number. So we're going to print out each time a random thing from our array. So let's run this. Okay, so we we got the number three. So therefore we get bat. So 0, 1, 2, 3, bat is array item 3. So that just fills the square brackets with the number 3 therefore printing out our array item 3. Let's run this again. The item 0. Hat. Hat again. Bat. Cat. Alright, so there's some random items. So these could be um, image files, um, anything, anything at all. We could print randomly on a page a random link, a random picture. Okay, now I'd like to show you a function that can round numbers up to um, however many decimal places you like. It will round up or round down. Now. I'll um, show you the function in a sec. I'd just like to, to 
take this scenario here, create a new random number down here. Now, let's create a new variable called rounded equals now sprint f. This is our function for rounding numbers amongst other things, but sprint f now we just simply type in a percentage sign dot and let's round our random number that we're about to generate to two decimal places so we type in two f close that and then we're going to round our random number so let's print out rounded variable now the reason I'm printing out the number before we round it is so we can see what it looks like before we round it and then after we uh, round it so for comparison okay so Here's our random number 24.69 etc and we've rounded it to two decimal places so because this is one we round down to 69 of course here so let's run this a few times see what we get 81.317 so therefore it's rounded this up to 2 81.32 26.07 so it's rounded up to 26.08 and of course we could round to one decimal place by changing this to the number one here we go we've got 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 85.73 85.7 and we could round to uh, say four numbers so on the fourth number eight six so therefore it rounds it up to nine so a real good tool sprint f for rounding numbers